as you guys can see, we've had <clears throat> pretty good snowfall, about six inches. There's my house. I was watching this little buck. I've had several animals moving this morning, turkeys, deer, squirrels. Uh, looks like a bobcat down there, tracked up to an old deer hide of mine. I assume it's eating it <clears throat> with this little buck. He come in and bedded. I'll show you what a deer bed looks like in the snow they take. I watched him make this. They take their hooves and they kind of scratch them out. They paw out a place to get below the snow. See where they kick that straw everywhere. Pine needles. And uh, they find them a good spot on the side of a hill where they can get some sunlight. And they bed down. And he's been here for several hours. And I've been hiking. And I knew he was here because I'd seen him. But uh, I was just coming out, cutting through to the house. And he took off running. So I'd just go video this bed for you guys. Know. If you're walking in the woods, you guys, new hunters or whatever, and you come up on this, you know what it is. And uh, let's see, I'll show you. I don't know which direction he, I think he just jumped straight up and ran this. I'll show you what, <clears throat> this is uh, where he was uh, running. You can see he jumped up and then it's not like a deer. And there normally walks a step, a doe especially will put her hind foot in the same track as her front foot. Now a buck. If they're mature, it'll take a wider stance because their chest is too wide. But now if you see these, these are about 10 feet apart. And uh, that's that's a deer running. He's uh, that, they, that long gallop that they have. And now this one is amazing. So I want you to look at this. I'm standing right here. This is the last place this deer's feet touch the ground. I want you to mark the footage on this. And this deer was not overly excited. This is at least, I don't know, 15 feet. Let me mark it. Let's see. One. My feet, these boots are a little over 12 inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18 feet is what that deer cleared in a single bound. <clears throat> that was a, it's about a, a one year old deer. And uh, I can show you another way you know it's a buck if you'll see where they land. You see this little discolored snow here? This is um, from the urine where bucks will urinate on their dorsal. Uh, tarsal glands as they rub their knees together and uh, that's how they you know like buck lure they're so attractive and as you can see this discoloration here it's the uh, same thing so I know that's uh, probably not what you wanted to see but <laughs> that's the way it is so 18 feet in a single bound and uh, it was not a large deer it's a very young deer and uh as a matter of fact, he's just a little spike. He had about three inch uh, antler on one side and, and just a, uh, about a two and a half or three inch on the other side, so not real big. This is where he had fed through this morning. Another indicator here is a buck. You see the dew claws? Um, typically, the buck will leave the dew claw marks not in the snow. And I know that's not always a giveaway um, because the the doe can do that also, but um, definitely in harder surfaces, that's a good giveaway. But one thing you can see is if the snow's not real deep, you see how there's the dew claw sliding. Um, now, a doe typically won't slide her dew claws uh, in shallow snow like that. That's a, that's a characteristic of a buck. So, alrighty, well, I'll let you guys go. I'm going to go back to the house here and play with the grandbaby. All right, see y'all.